So somebody will say, hey, I'm building uh, cases, and I go, oh, you probably use an 18 millimeter plywood, right? Uh-huh. They go, what domino would you use? I always use a 5x30, and I'll show you why. The plunge depth is set right here. So, Minnie, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you do this. What's half of 30? 15. Now you're talking. You're back in graces. Good. You see that? 15? Okay. Because this is a 5 by 30. So, if I plunge here, that goes in 15 and 15. Okay. And when I put it together here, because I did this like that, I get a perfectly flush joint. If I was using a 6 by 40, I couldn't do that right because what would happen if i set it at 20 watch if i set it at 20 guess what would happen it would what 20 and 20 i'd get a through tenon joint okay but what i can do hear me out on this everybody i could set it at 12 okay for this piece and 28 for this piece because 12 and 28 equals 40. Yes, you could use a 6x40 in here and offset them, but guess what? I can't tell you how many times when I first started that I was using a 6x40 in here and how many times I forgot to switch it back as I was building. This is a no-brainer. You just set it at 15 and you can go back and forth in that joint. You never have to worry about switching it back and forth. So hopefully that made sense. <laughs> All right. Five millimeter, five by 30 is, I'm a cabinet guy. I build a lot of cabinets. This is the one I use the majority of the time.